today we're going to review uh, boba, or also known as bubble tea. It was invented in Taiwan, and it is made of tapioca. It's a nice chewy texture, kind of reminds me of gummy bears in a drink. Some people like that, some people think it's a little bit strange. Yeah, mine is a uh, black sesame. They call it rich sesame. Um, this particular boba is from a place called Share Tea, and it's actually really good. So, um, but this will be Sienna's first time trying from Share Tea. Yes. Um, and it'll be my first time trying this particular flavor. And I'm really picky about my boba, so that's important to know. I, the texture should be a little bit al dente, chewy, not too mushy, not too hard. Um, and it should have a sweet center. So if it doesn't taste like anything, it's probably not even worth the calories. So I would put that down. Cheers. The balls are a little bit small, the boba balls, <laughs> um, but that's, that's good. That's what she said. <laughs> it's better than being too big because then they get just stuck in the straw. Mm -hmm. So it's good though. And they give you a lot. I've that's actually seen places that give you just enough to cover the bottom, which is so stingy, I think. Um, but this is good because then you can get a good ratio of boba balls to, to drink. That happens a lot actually when I have boba. I'll drink, I'll try to suck up as much boba as I can, but then at the end there's just nothing but boba left. Mm. That happens to me a lot. But I love boba so much, I would just <laughs> eat it alone. So, but um, How's yeah, your this flavor? is good. The flavor is good. It's not too sweet at all. And this is normal sweetness. Um, so it's good because some people just do pumps and pumps of syrup and it's just too sweet. And um, this is good because you actually taste the tea as well. Uh, there's some mango bits in here, so that's kind of nice. You put it in the refrigerator, saving it for later, but that's not going to work. It's going to be a very hard, stale tasting center. Um, so you got to drink it promptly after you buy it, of course. How's yours? Yeah, mine's more like um, like a milk milk tea. Hers is more of a fruity tea. Mm -hmm. um, usually they, they kind of divide them into fruits and ones with milk in it and ones like without milk. It's like real sesame. Like they really ground up that sesame. Mm -hmm. you can um, see I can it. I can taste yeah. it. It's really gritty and nutty. So I not only taste the texture of the boba, but I taste the texture of all the seeds ground up, which is really kind of cool because you know that it's it's like a real it's real sesame. It's not, and not just, just like a flavor. sesame infused. And usually the sesame is really strong and overpowering, but mm -hmm. this one's actually on the lighter side, lighter than I thought it would be. It's bubblicious. Yeah, I think this is this gets an A. And for her to give boba an A, that's like <laughs> saying a lot, a lot about Yes, it's very true. It's in Taiwan. Well, it's, it's it. international. I'll be going to Taiwan in a couple of months, so I will definitely try that out in Taiwan and see if it's different. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm.